Why do your colours go muddy? Well, it is because you're not going through the procedure of underpainting. What I subscribe to is using yellows, oranges and Indian reds and browns at the early stages of underpainting to get the form in place. So you've got many parts of the cherry, you've got control over the form that you're painting and the choice of colours is in fact the first stage to prevent your colours muddying, getting dirty. Uh, because the next stage after that is to go on improving what you've done still using terps uh, and, and, and pigment but to create further form again only in these yellows, oranges, browns and red tones. When you've got that uh, all in place, the next stage of course after it's well dried is to what I call pull the flesh over. Uh, in particular if you're painting a portrait. Um, you then start to put colours that are closer related to what it is you're looking at. And by that I mean you, you, you paint using cadmium reds, oranges, yellows, again to spread over, blues in certain places, and, and you're continually getting form based on what you've already done, all the hard work of underpainting. But the easiest way I can explain it is by pulling the flesh over. And that's the way you have control, you have many parts of the cherry, you're always correcting, A, B, C, always be correcting. And, and that's how you keep your paintings light. And in fact, the yellows come through and will give a radiance to your work as opposed to it being muddied. It takes time, it, it just can't happen in five minutes, you know, you've got to practice anything that you want to learn has to be practiced and practiced and practiced and you get better. Don't give up because it will come. Mm -hmm.